Hi everybody, John Locke here again. And today is day two of opening Abyss Padlocks. So what do I have today? I have one I really like. It's the Abyss 7550. It's an old brass one. Um, you know, I think I got this in the, the on an eBay, uh, but I just like it because it's definitely weathered and you know, it feels like an old padlock. Um, not so difficult to open, keyway. Uh, not too tricky for us to deal with, although it does have a nice piece of wording on it, but uh, I think we'll be able to manage it. All right, going to go with my top of the keyway. Uh, again, my little Sparrows tension bar. I'm really liking these guys. Um, <clears throat> I find for some keyways, uh, I like my multi-pick tension tools a little better, um, but when these fit, uh, I really am enjoying them. All right, I'm seeing, all right. <clears throat> so yesterday I talked a little bit about, you know, pick position and a lock like this, what I'm able to do is get in at the bottom, even though there's warding on both sides, what I'm able to do with these thinner picks, and this is one of the advantages of thin picks, and this is a 0.04 millimeter, uh, it's the thin line for multi-pick, is you're able to come in at just an angle where you're able to get your pick up at an angle, still touch the pins and get kind of thread the needle between two pieces of warding. So that works really well. Um, when I've got that much room to work with, I like to use uh, a little deeper, uh, a, a pretty steep hook. And so I'm going to go with that. All right. And I'm going to start front to back and just see what I can feel. And actually, indeed, with this pick profile, when I go with that angle, it's just too steep. I want, all I can touch is the, uh, ooh, the perfect angle, I can get it. Okay, good. I was, almost thought that this pick would not work from the very bottom of the keyway, but it looks like it is. Okay, I have a false set already. That's great. Okay. Had a little counter rotation on that pin, the first pin. So what I'm doing right now, very light tension, pushing up on pins, looking for one to give me some counter rotation. That one I know will be a spool pin and, and, uh, and the one that's binding. Still having a hard time finding it. Probably need a little more force on the tool and make sure that my tool's at just the right angle. The disadvantage of these thin picks, the 0.04 millimeter, really easy to bend them, right? So not a lot of material. You can't really go around and, and bully inside the lock. You know, you can't, you gotta be finesse. It means just the right touch, just the right tension. Uh, and that's a skill. All right, I'm gonna try a little shallower hook profile now. Because uh, <clears throat> I'm having a hard time finding the binding pins. And maybe this profile just lets me get on the pins a bit more. And maybe I'll even try to go off the, the wording. Ah, oh, yeah, there I go. Just picked one, just picked another. Going off this wording was a lot easier than going off the bottom of the keyway. Spool after spool, and we have an open. All right, guys, that's the Abyss. <clears throat> 7550, um, just enjoyable old lock for me. Just love the way it feels, love the heft of it, um, and, and a fun pick. All right, guys, have a great rest of your week, and see you again tomorrow for my third Abyss padlock, uh, and I'll try to do one every day for five days in a row.